welcome to Ure, Colorado. I'm excited to share with you my favorite things to do, my favorite places to visit, and the best hikes in Ure. Ure is a beautiful, charming mountain town in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado, and it is referred to as the Switzerland of America because when you're in the town, you are surrounded by mountains in 360 degrees, and it is one of the most beautiful places in the state. I've been visiting Ure for years, and I've had the chance to explore all the hidden gems this town has to offer in both the summer and the winter, and the list is never ending. Real quick, though if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel there are dozens of travel guides on my channel so check them out but let's dive right in this is my top 10 things to do and places to visit in Ure, Colorado First up, we have Box Canyon Falls. This stunning natural wonder is just a short hike from the town center, and it's a must-see for any nature lover. The falls are created by the Box Canyon Creek, which cuts through a narrow gorge and drops 285 feet into a narrow chasm. The sound of the rushing water and the mist from the falls will make you feel like you're in another world. While you're visiting, you should definitely check out both of the falls. There's Lower Box Canyon Falls and Upper Box Canyon Falls. For the Lower Falls, it is 0.3 miles with 26 feet of elevation gain. It's pretty short and then when you're gonna head to Upper Box Canyon Falls It's also gonna be a third of a mile with 177 feet of elevation gain There are going to be a lot of staircases built right into the narrow slot canyons and gorge Which is actually really cool My favorite view here is when you go all the way down the flights of stairs and you're actually standing right next to the water and you can see the water flowing down and then you can see it exiting out through the slot canyon and it's just beautiful Next up is going to be a winter activity and it's probably the best thing to do in Ure in the winter and that's going to be ice climbing. Ure is one of the most famous ice climbing areas in the entire world so if you're looking for a little adventure this is the place for it. There are over 200 ice climbing routes to choose from. There's something for all skill levels. This is a great place to ice climb for the first time with rentals all over town and guides ready to take you up for your first outing. Ure's unique geography and climate create perfect conditions for ice climbing. And the town is home to Ure Ice Park, which is also where the annual ice climbing festival is held. It's a world renowned destination for ice climbers. And whether you're a beginner or an experienced climber, you're gonna have a ton of fun doing this. Next up is going to be driving Yankee Boy Basin and hiking Mount Snipples. So if you're looking to drive the entire OHB route, it's going to be 18.6 miles with 4,750 feet of elevation gain. And that's gonna be round trip from Ure all the way to the end of the road. And the end of the road is actually the top trailhead for Mount Snipples 14er. When we did the drive, our Astro van that we were driving at the time couldn't make it the whole way, but then we hopped in Hayden Subaru, and Hayden Subaru made it to the middle trailhead for the hike, which was awesome. If you're looking to get all the way to the top, you're gonna need a lot of clearance and four-wheel drive, or you can actually rent a Spider or ATV in town. So the hiking distance and elevation gain for Snuffles is going to change based on how far your car can make it. But if you're gonna take the classic South Slopes route, it's gonna be easy class three. It's gonna be six miles round trip with 2,900 feet of elevation gain. Some some of this is going to be hiking on the OHB road, but if you can get all the way to the top, I believe it's only around two to two and a half miles round trip. It's pretty much just the fun parts of the hike. Sneffels is one of my favorite 14ers alongside Long's Peak. The views are just out of this world and it's a great introduction to class three climbing. It's a very easy route. We actually got off route and ended up having to go up a class four gully. And then on the way down, we found the South Slopes route and we noticed right away that we just took one gully too soon. But at the end of the day, this was incredible. And as long as you go up the right gully at the top of the pass, you're gonna have no problem. This is a great intro to class three climbing and the views at the top are unbelievable. And along the way, if you're not looking to hike the 14er or if scrambling is a little too scary, this is also a great area to visit for wildflowers, awesome place for photographers, and you're gonna pass some alpine lakes and streams along the way. So it's really just an amazing place to visit no matter what you're gonna do up there. All 
Alright, next up is going to be the Ure Via Ferrata. So for those looking for a very unique experience, you could try the Via Ferrata, which is also known as the Iron Way. A Via Ferrata, for those that don't know, is typically a very safe way to hybrid hiking and climbing. So there's going to be iron rungs alongside a mountain, whether you're traversing sideways or if you're going up to down and you are clipped in using a Via Ferrata set off of your harness and you're going to make your way through the route. If you were to take a fall, the device is going to save you. There's very low risk as long as you're using both of your lobster claws and you always have one piece clipped into the route. The Ure Via Ferrata is a climb that's gonna take you along the cliffs of the Compadre Gorge, giving you a one of a kind view of the town and the surrounding mountains. The Via Ferrata is a series of steel cables, ladders and rungs bolted to the rock. So again, it's gonna be super easy if you're a beginner or if you're looking to get into climbing or if you want a climbing experience but have no interest in actual rock climbing. It's gonna be a thrilling experience that's safe and accessible for everyone. And a very cool thing about this Via Ferrata is that most of the Via Ferratas in the entire country are private and it is mandatory to get a guide, which costs typically a few hundred dollars. But if you have a Via Ferrata set and you have experience doing Via Ferratas, this is one of the few that you do not need a guide for. I still recommend calling the local mountain shop, which there's signs for and with all of their phone number and everything once you get to the trailhead. In case you have any questions or anything, we called them to make sure that we were able to start because we got there a little bit early. There was no problems, so this was really cool that we, we were able to do this on our own. Next up is going to be Columbine Lake. So if you're looking for a peaceful and scenic escape, this is gonna be an awesome trail for you. This hidden gem is a moderate hike from the town and it's gonna offer you stunning views of the mountains and the lake itself. This trail initially takes you through a beautiful forested area and then up to a, a small alpine lake. It's perfect if you're looking to get a refreshing dip on a hot summer day to reward yourself for making it to the top. It's a great spot for a picnic. And honestly, this has got to be the bluest lake in all of Colorado. It's one of my favorite alpine lakes in the state, and honestly, probably the country. Columbine Lake is going to be 7.9 miles round trip with 2,837 feet of elevation gain. So it's gonna be a moderately challenging hike, but the drive to the trailhead is beautiful. And again, it's one of the most amazing hikes. And afterwards, you get to drive back to Ure and reward yourself with an amazing burger or pizza or any other food at the amazing restaurants that Ure has to offer. Next up is going to be taking a day trip to Telluride. So this is going to be a longer activity because you are gonna have some driving time. Geographically, Ure and Telluride are not that far apart, but because of the mountains and the terrain, you do have to drive all the way around up to Ridgeway, Sam's, Saw Pit, and then you go on the one-way road that takes you to the town of Telluride. Both Ure and Telluride, in my opinion, are the most beautiful towns in the entire state. So being able to see both in one day is awesome. And it's only one hour and two minutes driving time between the two. Telluride is a great place to take a stroll down Main Street. You can admire the Victorian era buildings. You can ride the free gondola ride to get a bird's eye view of the town and the surrounding mountains. You can also hike up to Bridal Veil Falls, which is one of the tallest waterfalls in Colorado, which is really cool because Colorado does not have that many named waterfalls, which is surprising because of its landscapes. Also, if you're looking for even more adventure, there is a Via Ferrata in Telluride as well. It's called the Kroger Via Ferrata. I highly recommend it. It's incredible but I do have to say there's a lot more mental scariness to this one compared to Ure. Ure Via Ferrata might be more physically challenging and a lot of upper body strength, but the Telluride one has hundreds of feet drop on some parts of the route, so it definitely can be a little scary. Next up is going to be Ure Hot Springs, and this is going to be the best place to relax and just have some peace and quiet. After exploring and doing all these crazy hikes and climbing, this is the perfect place to wind down for the day. The natural mineral water of the hot springs is known for its therapeutic properties and it'll leave you feeling rejuvenated and refreshed. 
The hot springs feature several different pools ranging in temperatures from 88 to 105 degrees so you can find the perfect one to relax in based on your preferences. The setting's beautiful. You're going to be surrounded by these beautiful San Juan mountains. It's the perfect place to recover and soak your tired muscles while taking in the natural beauty of Ure. The hot springs are open year round which is awesome because in the winter when it's really cold and snowy and because these mountains just get pounded with snow this is a great way to relax and warm up and in the summer going in the evening after a hike is the perfect way to end your day. So for these hot springs, you can get a punch pass for 10 visits or 20 visits, but unless you're closer to the area, I've never done this personally, a day pass for adults is gonna be $26 a day. For seniors above 62, you're gonna get it for $18 a day. If you're under 17 years old, it's $16 a day. And younger than four years old or older than 75 years old, it's gonna be free. Towels are available for purchase for $10, but I would just recommend bringing your own if you have one, and showers are included in the daily admission prices. Next up is going to be Bear Creek Falls. This is such a cool waterfall, and I had probably been to Ure like five times until I even knew that this existed. And then there was one random day, I was just scrolling around on Google Maps. I saw a pin on the map saying Bear Creek Falls. I was like, oh, what's this? And come to find out, it's this massive waterfall that pools into this very unique colored body of water at the bottom. And it comes right out of the mountains and right below the million dollar highway. It's definitely one of the coolest and most scenic waterfalls in the state. And this is awesome too, because it's on the side of the road. So this requires no effort to visit. And this is a super easy and quick activity. It's only a six minute drive south of Ure along the Million Dollar Highway and it's going to be right next to Bear Creek Trailhead. Next up we have Cascade Falls and this is another waterfall worth checking out. This beautiful waterfall is located just on the northeast side of town so you can walk to it probably from any hotel or accommodation or you can drive up to the parking lot at Cascade Falls. The falls themselves are created by the Cascade Creek which drops 140 feet into a narrow gorge. The sound of the rushing water and the mist from the falls will make you feel like you're in another world. It's a great spot for a photo op or simply just taking in the beauty of the waterfall. In the summer you can see this waterfall from pretty much anywhere in town if you know where to look. And then the one time that Brie and I actually got up close and personal with the waterfall was in the winter, which was even cooler because the entire thing was frozen, just coming right out of the canyon walls. So it's worth visiting in winter or summer. Next up is going to be take a drive along the Million Dollar Highway. This scenic byway is one of the most beautiful drives in Colorado and takes you through the most amazing mountain scenery in the state. It's winding and narrow with steep drop-offs and hairpin turns. So if you get a little queasy with this, just know that the road is going to be a little bit more intense than your average highway drive. Although the entire road is paved, so you don't need to worry about that or need to worry about having a certain car to make it. You're gonna see towering peaks deep canyons and breathtaking vistas. And along this entire drive, you're gonna have so many trailheads. This is where Bear Creek Falls is. This is where the trailhead for Columbine Lake is. If you wanna check out Island and Ice Lake, which is another incredible day hike that I couldn't recommend enough. All of these trailheads and many, many more are going to be off of the Million Dollar Highway. But also if you don't like hiking and you just want to enjoy the views, this is great just to relax and take it in from your car. The Million Dollar Highway connects Ure to Silverton, and then eventually, if you continue driving south, you're gonna make your way to Durango. This is also an incredible spot if you're looking to see fall colors and fall foliage, because this entire highway is filled with aspens that all turn yellow as the fall colors start to change. All right, guys, anyways, this is going to wrap up my top 10 things to do and places to visit in Ure, Colorado. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to be visiting in winter specifically, I do have a travel guide on the channel that tells you everything you need to know for a winter visit. But otherwise, I hope you choose to stick around, subscribe to the channel, and check out other videos. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.